Name calling can be hurtful and damaging to a person being targeted. It can cause emotional embarrassment and feeling of low self-worth. Pretty much when someone call another person in a name, it can make them feel inferior, isolated, and practically unsupported. It also cause very negative and hostile environments, which can lead to conflict and tension between individuals. Name calling is a form of verbal abuse. Let's be real about that. And it has a very long lasting effect on people. This is the case of Michael B. Jordan, where L'Oreal came out and, you know, says to him pretty much when they were in high school that he was corny for that reason forever and ever michael b jordan has had that in his mind and lasting effect in him and making sure that he gets payback so during this interview process when they both confront each other michael b jordan bring that up and so l'oreal made it like it's a tasteful thing for him it's not because that had a lasting long effect on his psyche. So let's get into this interview and then do a reaction right after. Now, Hustle Show, we got Michael B. Jordan, the director and the star of Green <laughs> And you know, we know each other. We go way back all the way to Chad Science in Newark, okay? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I did not say that. Misquoted. Oh. You did not hear me say I said we used to make fun of the name, but yeah, he is obviously killing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at the facial expression. Like, like he was been waiting for this. Look at this. Like he's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm finally getting the cringe in this aspect and everything. It's just it's just crazy about it. But the one thing I enjoy more about this is just the fact that, like, towards after that, let's just keep listening. No, you did See? Not hear me say crap. Look at that face. Make fun of the name. What's up? What's up? Yeah. How was the difference between you actually directing and working with wow. people that you were directed with versus? Uh, it, it was it was awesome. You know, it's a family. Wow. Last nine nine years of my life. Um, I spent on the Creed films. Uh, they're very supportive. You know, Tessa, uh, Felicia, Rashad, Wood Harris, people that see me grow. Look at this. And, uh, for the fact that I stepped behind the camera and finally got a chance to direct them, they, they, they loved it. They embraced it. And uh, it was a wonderful experience. And was it difficult? See, this is one thing I enjoy about this whole interview and scenario is the fact that, like, confronting your bully from high school also giving and conduct a professional interview all in that at all out, out of that is just incredible to say the least. It's just crazy to me where we live in this age where now like you never know who is gonna end up becoming what. So the fact that like being kind to people because you never know, uh, it might come back, karma might come back. I feel bad because just looking at it and it's just cringe worthy. I know it's your job to interview him and stuff, but I would be personally ashamed to interview someone I was teasing as a kid and everything and saying that we're going back to school because obviously that lived a lasting mark on somebody obviously michael b jordan is a very successful guy and you know he's is one of the most upcoming not even upcoming pretty much established actor right now and he's pretty much it and with the creed franchise and everything he has made his way he started out from the wire pretty much and made his way all the way here so which is crazy the journey is taken. Also, yes, they used to make fun of him because he used to bring around his headshot around school. How crazy is that? And people think, and they were making fun of him. Yes, I get it. It's New York. I guess you're New York. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter, right? The kid had a goal and he set his mind to it. Regardless of how everybody think of him, even though that hurt at that time, but he's telling them, I'll show you. So in the end, he proved them right or wrong in that instant. He proved them right because he stepped up and became who he is currently. It's all it's all about the adversity that you went through. It's all about how how far you're willing to go, how dedicated you are with your craft and art and everything you're about to do. So a lesson here, especially people who are a little bit younger, you never know who you're going to deal with or you never know who that person is going to end up becoming. Be kind to everyone. Be kind to people. It doesn't matter. 
because at the end of the day, you don't know where you're going to meet them. You don't know where you're going to need them or anything in that aspect. Just so that way the world can be a little bit nicer. But I just love this interview because you just confront your bully and be like, yeah, I'm on top. Now look at me. And it's just wonderful just to see it. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. Peace out.